Hi, I'm GNT and I'm going to take you through one of my favourite kicks, the Giver, made famous by my friend Scott Atkins as Boyka in Undisputed 2. It's called the Giver kick because of the awesome B-movie Giver Dark Hero that it was performed in, but I believe it was done by other martial artists before that, including Kim Won Jin. Anyway, enough talking about it, let's learn how to do it. So, before attempting this kick, you'll need to be able to do a jump spin and hook kick and a twist kick to a good level. If you need help with any of those, here's the links. Click them if you need to. Now it's not essential, but if you want a really good controlled guyver or even land it without falling over in the future, then I recommend trying to hyper your jump spin hook kick on your dominant leg. In another words, land on your kicking leg. If you struggle with that version, you still might be able to pull off the kick, but it may have less control and give you a heavier landing. So let's focus on the motion on the floor so we can understand what we are going to do in the air. Okay, so as we do the first kick, we want to be tilted back slightly, but hunched in, with our non-kicking legs knee turned out to prepare for the twist kick. As it passes through and we hook, we quickly switch to the twist kick, whilst tilting our body towards the twist kick. This will help us with a lot of power, and obviously we commit to the fall as well. As you are landing, the leg you kick with first should connect with the floor first, and then distribute the, the momentum through your palms, roll through forearms, and then extend so you have a nice soft landing. Do not lock your arms straight on landing or you will damage them. Instead, try to distribute the momentum by landing on the hands through to the forearms and then extend whilst the body follows the direction of momentum. You can twist kick whilst collapsing the supporting leg to work on your brake fall more safely. When you are confident, practice the kick on a soft surface to minimize the risks of injury. You can start by jumping low and then building it up to get more comfortable with the fall. Try to focus on driving up on takeoff so you stay on the spot, but dip the shoulder on the same leg you were doing the twist kick with and then carry it all the way through to the hunch position we are in as we make the first kick. By doing this, it will help position your shoulder and hip on the twist kick inside in a more forwards position to help you perform the twist kick more easily. It takes some getting used to as when you do your usual jump spin and hook kick, your hips are more open and you're not hunched in. When you have completed the first kick, it is important that the hip still continues to travel. And then when we lean into the twist kick by pushing the hip of that leg forwards and the opposite shoulder towards the direction of the kick, our body will end up in a more horizontal position and it will give us an overall better guyver kick. When you feel confident of combining that with the fall we learned earlier and it's consistent on a matte or soft surface, you can move to harder surfaces. I also recommend when you're first attempting to not extend only chamber for the twist kick so you can focus more on the landing. Then when you are ready, add the kick. Another important point is to drive your hips up as high as possible as it will make the move far easier. If you need more momentum, take a step into it. I also like to do a jump spin and outward crescent kick and then go into the twist kick. As you progress with it, you will find you can control the landing more or even absorb it just with the first kicking leg. When you are at this stage, you can roll back and do the classic follow-up move, the kip up which I also have a tutorial on, so check it out if you need to. Not that the kick is at all realistic in a fight, but the objective is to draw the guard with the first kick on the one side, and then the second kick hits the opposite side. So timing the switch to connect with the kick can be tricky, but with sighting and increased awareness from practice, it becomes a lot easier. Now to land it, whip your first leg through and tilt less into the twist kick so you can land in balance on the first kick in leg. This is a lot more difficult and requires more height, speed, hip flexibility and a decent twist kick, but it can be achieved with practice. The hardest part of it is to find the balance of leaning into the twist kick as it's far more difficult when we are not committing to the fall like we did earlier. If you struggle, practicing the hyperhook I mentioned at the start will definitely help with working towards a landed guyver. Oh, and if you want a challenge, try to do it on the other side. This concludes my tutorial on the Giver Kick, so check my channel for other tutorials and subscribe for future tutorials. Thank you.